Good afternoon, Ma'am Larisa Ibeo. I am Dennis Kin E. Ramirez, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics, and I am a first-year student. So this is my output in formulating my philosophy of education. My philosophy of education is to nurture every student to ensure that they can learn. Second, have a proper environment to make sure everyone can gain knowledge without any kinds of discrimination. Third, teach every child the lessons that they can use in everyday life as well as in the future. Fourth, have an understanding about the nature of every learners to be able to guide them properly and lastly, help the students to develop their full potential. So, the society demands from the teacher as a professional. The teacher needs to have competence so that they can handle their work as an educator. The teacher must do and must have are the abilities and skills to be able to handle teaching effectively. The demands of society from the teacher as a person is to have a proper attitude towards their student as well as the society. The teacher as a person needs to have good qualities to be able to connect with everyone to develop a positive relationship. So, these are the four models on teacher effectiveness. So, first is Robert Marzano's COSAL teacher evaluation model of four domains. It evolves around understanding new knowledge and learning to be able to adapt for changes that can occur when teaching. Engaging and interactions to students are very important. Second, Teacher Evaluation Standard, the Macrill Model. This model evaluates the teacher's knowledge and teaching standards so that they can be properly carry out their responsibilities in facilitating and developing the learning of their students. Third, Charlotte Danielson Framework for Teaching. Planning and Preparations, Classroom Environment, Instruction, and professional responsibilities are needed to establish a proper environment for teaching to handle educational works properly. James Strong, TEPES. This model enables teacher to keep track of the student's progress and achievement. It also involves of professional knowledge, instructional planning, instructional delivery, assessment for learning, the learning environment, and professionalism. All of that are the four models on teacher effectiveness. So, these are the article of the Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers. Article 1. Scope and Limitations. Article 2. The Teacher and the State. Article 3. The Teacher and the Community. Article 9, the teacher and the parents. Article 8, the teacher and the learners. Article 5, the teacher and the teaching community. Article 6, the teacher and the higher authorities in the Philippines. Article 4, the teacher and the profession. Article 11, the teacher as a person. And lastly, Article 10, the teacher and business. So, professional teachers should relate to the state, community, parents, and all education stakeholders through maintaining a proper attitude and good qualities in order to develop a positive relationship with the people in the community. So, there are 17 privileges of teachers in the Philippines. So, these are the privileges of teachers in the Philippines.
So one, persons in authority. This law recognizes supervisors, teachers, and professors of public and recognized private schools as persons in authority. Any person guilty of assault may directly or indirectly upon a supervisor, teacher, or professor will be subject to penalty or imprisonment ranging from 6 months and 1 day to 6 years and aligned from 500 pesos to 1,000 pesos. 2. Study leave. A one-year study leave with pay shall be gr granted to a teacher who has rendered at least seven years of satisfactory teaching. Magna Carta Section 24 states, During the period of such leave, the teacher shall be entitled to, entitled to at least 60% of his salary, provided, however, that no teacher shall be allowed to accumulate more than one year study leave unless he needs an additional semester to finish his thesis for a graduate study in education or allied courses, provided further that no compensation shall be due the teacher after the first year of such leave. 3. Maternity Leave Commonwealth Act No. 647 as amended by Representative Acts No. 270 and 1564 provides maternity leave to regular and temporary female who are married. Regular teachers with two and a half or more years of service are entitled to 60 days of maternity leave with full pay, while those with less than two and a half years of service are entitled to 60 days with half pay. Temporary teachers with at least two years of service are entitled to 60 days of maternity leave with half pay. 4. Outside Teaching Allows public school teachers elementary or high school to teach in private evening schools in not more than 12 hours a week in addition to their regular loads in their own schools. 5. Retirement Benefits Teachers from the public school are given a one-range salary raise upon retirement. A teacher belonging to Step 3, for instance, will be classified upon retirement as within Step 4 of the next range. The salary for the higher range and monthly salary for the last three years before effective date of retirement will be the basis for computation of the lump sum retirement pay. A lifetime monthly pension equivalent to 90% of their monthly salary is given to those who retire at age 60. Under Presidential Decree Number 1146 or uh, or known as the Old Age Pension, under Republic Act 660, an annuity benefit equivalent to 80% of the monthly salary for the last three years shall be given to those who retire at age 63. 6. Vacation and Sick Leave Revised Administrative Code sec Section 275 as amended by the Commonwealth Act No. 220 and RA No. 218. Vacation and sick leave are cumulative and any part which may not be taken within the school calendar year may be carried over to the succeeding year. A sick teacher who has used his accrued leave privileges is entitled to go sick leave without pay. 7. Compulsory Insurance Commonwealth Act No. 186 as amended by Rep. Act 660 and 1616 provides for life and retirement insurance. Membership in the GSISIS is compulsory upon all teachers except those who are substitute upon all regularly and permanently appointed school employees. 8. Vacation Pay All teachers except those who are on vacation and sick leave basis are on the teacher's leave basis. They are all entitled to pay during the Christmas and long vacations. 
Temporary teachers who have served at least six months are also entitled to vacation pay. Teachers' vacation pay may be commuted or paid in advance. 9. Service Credits A teacher on the teacher's leave basis is given service credit when he is asked to work during the vacation period. This service credit may be used to offset past and future absences due to illness or other reasonable causes. 10. Salary Loan Public school teachers are allowed to bar borrow money from the government insurance system, an amount not to exceed his monthly salary. 11. Free Medical Consultation The public school teachers are required to have annual physical checkup. They are given free medical consultation by the school physician. So, 12. Compensation for Injuries Teachers are protected against the consequences of employment injuries. The effects of the physical and nervous strain in the teacher's health shall recognized as a compensable occupational disease in accordance with the existing laws. 13. Cost of Living and Special Hardship Allowance The teacher's salaries shall keep pace with the rise in the cost of living by the payment of a cost of living allowance which shall automatically changes in a cost of living index. Special hardship allowance are to be enjoyed by public school teachers in areas who are exposed to hardships slash hazards. 14. Enjoy academic freedom. Section 5 of the Article 14 of the Philippine Constitution and by Representative Act No. 4670 which is known the Magna Carta for public school teachers. The right of the teacher to an atmosphere of academic freedom in the discharge of his professional duties. Teachers are therefore free to use any method of teaching they think best for their pupils. 15. Joining Teachers Organization Public school teachers shall have the right and without previous authorization freely to establish or to join organizations. 16. Working hours for teachers Teachers engaged in actual classroom teaching are required to render not more than 6 hours of actual classroom teaching a day. Then, may be required to render more than 6 hours but not exceeding 8 hours of actual classroom teaching a day upon payment of additional compensation. 17. Tenure of Office Regular or permanent public school teachers are officials and officials are granted stability of employment and security of tenure. Teachers appointed on a provisional status or temporary who rendered 10 years of continuous, efficient, and faithful service as of June 18, 1966, and all teachers who have rendered 10 years of extended permanent appointment. So, global teachers are competent teachers who are armed with enough skills, appropriate attitude, and universal values to teach students with both time-tested as well as modern technologies in any place in the world. While local teachers are persons teaching that are concerned with the administration or town or district rather than a larger area. 
The demands of globalization in the 21st century and teacher professionals is very high and that made it possible through the help of the advancing technologies that made many teachers uses in the present, such as having a class online. So that ends my discussion and I hope that um, there is an importance of my philosophy of education and thank you and God bless. Goodbye.